just make sure that you've created space. That's one of the biggest um, sort of blocks I see with people is when they're trying to manifest things, they haven't let go of anything. So they haven't created space. And the universe is a vacuum. So everything will fill in um, if you can let go. So there's, I always say there's three kinds of major clutter. There's emotional clutter. That's all the unforgiveness and resentments you're holding against people and, and you know, experiences, things. You want to let go of those. Then there's physical clutter, which, you know, can be as simple as going through your closet, going, you know, looking in the basement, what's all this stuff. Um, you know, releasing a lot of that physical clutter. And then the third one is digital clutter. And this is becoming just massively huge and people are not even aware of it. Like, do you need that email from 2011? Do you, do you know, do you really need 4,000 screenshots? Um, So when you can clean up your digital clutter, it really, everyone has a digital aura, which is sort of their persona, their social media, all the things. And that clutter is a part of it. So if you want new experiences to come in, it's really important to make space. Mm. So you're saying we should declutter in October or before October? (laughs) I like to declutter every full moon. Oh, wow. There's there's different energies that numerically can support decluttering. So nine energy is the natural place to let things go and to release. So nine energy is always a good time, whether it's your nine day, your nine month, or your nine year. And then um, four energy rules organization. So sometimes that can help you. And six energy rules your home. It rules beauty, your fashion statements so that also can be a place where it where it helps it's really about setting the intention and finding the energy of that number to support your actions 